Hello, I'm Elias and I'm here to present our work on high precision instant segmentation to detect individual leaves in real field point clouds. The colorful lines you see here in the plot represent the expected food demand until 2050 according to different predictive models. They all have one thing in common, the demand for food is going to increase in the next 30 years. This poses a challenge to agriculture as more food needs to be produced in a sustainable manner on a shrinking amount of arable land. Robotics can help to reach the needed increase in productivity by performing labor and also can help to reduce the impact on the environment by reducing the amount of used agrochemicals. Robotics can also help with addressing these challenges by supporting breeders in developing new crop varieties. Breeders develop new varieties that are more stress resistant, drought resistant and disease resistant so that these crops can be planted in more parts of the world and also they require less agrochemicals because they are actually less prone to diseases. One important step in the breeding process is the selection of the mother plants for the next breeding generation by evaluating specific traits, for example, the leaf area. This process is called phenotyping. Today, phenotyping is still mainly done by experts that walk through the field and measure and observe the plants, as you can see here in the image. Instead, this process can be automated by robots, especially autonomous UAVs, that collect data and automated processing pipelines that extract the traits from the recorded data. As breeders are interested in these traits at an organ level, the first step for the extraction of the traits is segmenting individual leaves in the captured data. This is the focus of the presented work. Given an input point cloud, like the one shown here on the left, we want to know which points are part of which leaf, which is color coded in the point cloud on the right. This is a well studied problem in autonomous driving scenarios, but it has not been investigated so much in agriculture yet. We work with point clouds that are computed from images using photogrammetric tools, as this allows us to cover the whole agricultural field in a reasonable amount of time. As you can see in the center of the image, the density of the obtained point clouds is very high. The segmentation process is however quite challenging due to different noise types that can be seen here in the red boxes on the right. The temperature deformation of the leaves leads to multiple instances of the same leaf, as you can see in the top right, and wind influence creates these stray points you can see here on the bottom right. This leads actually to many segmentation errors when using current state-of-the-art methods. We therefore came up with a learning-based autoencoder pipeline for point cloud segmentation that is based on the KPConf backbone for predicting offset vectors for each point that point to the respective leaf centers. And then we use HDB scan for clustering instances based on these predicted centers. This leads to an improvement of the segmentation performance with respect to existing methods. But you might ask, does this small improvement actually make a big difference? Our answer is probably not, and this is why we went one step further. Remember the phenotyping experts walking through the field? They are actually just taking sample measurements in the fields, as there are way too many plants to measure them all. And in our pipeline, we can instead process all the leaves, but not all are segmented correctly. If only we were able to tell the bad predictions apart from the good ones, we could drop them and have a subset of nicely segmented leaves which are perfectly suited for the trait extraction. We can of course not use the ground truth label to detect the quality of our predictions. That's why we added another encoder, shown here in green, that takes as input the original point cloud and the predicted instances and outputs a confidence score for each leaf instance. We can then use these confidences to filter out the predictions. For this we need to define a ratio of capped predictions with respect to the total amount of predictions. As you can see here on the left, if we keep all the predictions, so we don't discard any, we obtain the same performance as you saw in the table before. Instead, the more predictions we discard, so the more right we go on the plot, the better our remaining predictions become. In orange, we show the upper bound, which is filtering by the ground truth confidences. These are computed as the intersection of a union of the predictions with the ground truth, ground truth labels. Our approach in red is only slightly below this upper bound and is better than the cluster variance which is shown in blue 
for all the keep ratios. Filtering the predictions by HDB scan instead gives hardly any benefit, as you can see here from the green line. Now you might wonder, what is actually filtered out? Are we changing the data distribution substantially by filtering out the uncertain predictions? As you can see in the plot, this is luckily not the case. If you are interested in a quantitative evaluation, please have a look at our paper. So in conclusion, we present an approach that has improved leaf instance segmentation performance, works on real field data and filter out un filters out uncertain leaf instances based on a predicted confidence. We also showed that this filtering does not change the leaf size distribution substantially. So that's all from my side. Thank you for your attention and please use the QR codes here on the bottom to access our paper and the re released code on GitHub.